other thing I want to talk about in the um, community where, in the, in the gay community, especially the gay community, especially guys of color, where it's a lot of bisexual guys or guys that turn straight and they just use people that look soft like me for sexual, for sexual, for sexual moments. And then we're just dumped and that's it. And then we're to be verbal abuse and emotional abuse. Like if you look at the porn sales of when they got black guys, they got them looking real hard, looking real tough. And it, and I'm not trying to tell people like what the buy, what not buy. They got them looking real hard, real tough. And they and they're like taking and they're raping light skinned men, light skinned women, soft looking, dark skinned men and women and white people. Y'all, how y'all gonna say stay away from white people? But you got people like them that look tough, and they're making. And they're making a, the, the people that sells the sex. They're making more. The company's making more money than the actual, than the actual, pro, the actual people in there, or they, or if they do get big, there's deception. But people like me, that's not into being big and not into just collecting the money. I would just be for fun. I'm at Nord. I never forgot one time I was watching this one company called Michael Lucas, and I tried writing to him, and he. He did this fart fetish porn that I liked back in 2008 and 9. And he was asking a lot of guys what make them want to do that. But he had a bias side. He only had one black guy in there where he get to mess with all, all shades and all race. But black people, we got to stay in one box. And white people, y'all get to do many varieties. And black people, we can't. I want to be someone that just don't want to stay on one thing. And another thing I want to talk about. Why is it that y'all just stay on my gay? There's gay YouTube videos out there that talk about gay and trans and stay on that thing. When I'm trying to make it like, I don't want to be one dimensional. I want to be, I don't want to be one dimensional. I want to be multi-dimensional. People I'm around, oh, we don't care. I ain't got time here. Just get me off and and let, and at the same time, nobody want to hire me, but I'm a sexual need. And I want to do, and another thing I talked about, there's people I've been around when I was in my 20s, and they said, oh, we'll take you to this place, and they lied to me just to get sexual favors off me. They didn't give me nothing. They didn't compensate me. Just take care of them, and then just throw me out like a rag doll. And that's why even when I used to play around with homeless men and give them something, at least I gave them something. See what I mean? Y'all don't want to talk about, y'all want to talk about, y'all want to look at me being gay, but y'all don't want to be outraged of what made me be a predator to men that was homeless and adult. See? See, in our community, it's praise to be a bully, to harass, to mess with somebody. People like me that don't buy nobody, it's, it's looked down on. Now, to nice-looking women and trans women, I'm going to make a special video for y'all. If y'all of color and y'all been for sexual needs but and taking advantage of for sexual needs, but nobody don't care about y'all, I'm going to make a special video. But right now, this got to be for soft-looking guys of color. Because, like I said, ladies and trans ladies, and even white people, I still give y'all room. See? I'm giving y'all room, but who gives... People like me run that care. And this is what makes me angry at the world. Oh, do you have a job? Oh, do this, do that. See what I mean? And also, I want to talk to some of y'all white people. Why is it that y'all start this thing with ageism, racism, colorism, looksism? Y'all start all the social economics to make it benefit y'all. But the moment some of y'all age and look bad, y'all want to get with us young people of color. And y'all want to come around and we're supposed to put y'all on the pedestal like y'all some messiah. And black people, I want to stop. I want to tell y'all something. Stop this messiah complex of putting, put, of making unfair standards for us, or we put each other on pedestal, but we don't give each other that middle ground. But white people, all the time, y'all had this pedestal and middle. Black people, we don't have that. We gotta have a middle line of a balance, and that's what I'm trying to work on in the most different, crazy, strange way. But yeah, to lot of y'all interviews, I just want to say before y'all waste y'all time, I'm gonna give y'all most of the information I can in this video because, like I said. You know, for six years, me being on the platform, I've been caring and I've been doing my best. And I'm tired of people looking at just a few sides of me and not all of me. And also, y'all, and then also, I'm going to talk about when I used to be homeless in my late teens and 20s, I used to be around like condescending homeless. I used to be around condescending black older people where they looked down on me and they always got to prove they're smart and intelligent. And also, I want to talk to a lot of y'all Uncle Tom's and Aunt Sally's. Why y'all got to throw y'all degrees up, y'all tunges up, but y'all not helping the black community? Y'all not y'all not leaving us with something. You're not leaving less than nothing. All you're doing is throwing up, your, you, you, you got this, you do that. And some of y'all were blessed to be in corporate America where a lot of us don't get to do it. People like me, where I don't want to be so smart and I don't want to be on some intelligent or who look at me, I'm better. I'm criticized. I'm an object. See? No. I want to represent a middle way. Don't compare me to nobody and I'm not going to compare myself to nobody. Let me work too. Don't have me around to pull people in because that's another thing I want to talk about. Why is it in a... And also, I want to talk to some of y'all gay white men. Stop comparing y'all. Stop always 
acting like who looked the best. Stop that. And you two white females. And also black people, when we get around each other, we gotta stop falling for white people trying to compare us to each other because why they're comparing us to each other, they also are they're also miserable with themselves. Because let's be honest, and I gotta call this out. Some of y'all white people that think y'all all that in the bag of chips, y'all really not. Cause y'all need to be honest that for the last five hundred years, some of y'all been going around tearing up the world. Some of y'all been going around the bottom and conquering the world if y'all not nice as pop. Some of y'all been Still got my people against my people. Because look at us. Black people, we don't work together. Black people, we're, we we shoot each other down. Black people, we prey on each other. Black people, we call each other bullies. And then some of y'all, when I go to y'all for safe haven, safe haven, some of y'all help me, but some of y'all haven't. See the triangulation? Then you got black black gays. We, we're the body. See, where do we have rum at? Y'all, some of y'all people that I'm angry at, y'all, the corporation had made it for the last while that they don't, they only, the only set of black people they want is the, the stream ones where they tear up, they mess up, and people like me, they want to kill us out and shut us down and make us go crazy. That's what they're doing. And this is what I represent. And like I said, if people going to be around me, we need to stop this. See, someone like me that want to represent all age and fairness in the most different way, I'm shut out. Something wrong with me. But yeah, I'm tired of people looking at, well, you a little effeminate, but at the same time, turn straight, give you a cute baby, and then males, y'all see me as sex objects. No. All the time, you got nice looking people in other races and other people. I'm so sick of most of my life, oh, you look so cute, you look so soft. What the fuck that got to do with me surviving? If I'm so cute, so soft, how come my own company don't set me? The adult set company don't set me? How come... I'm just getting your sexual needs off anyone. You, and also, I want to talk about a, a guy I used to deal with. This white guy that used to like black eyes. He used to like attract me as a magnet to get the black eyes he want. And by the same time, he gonna try to make it like no company want me. See that? We gotta call that out because. And also, I want to talk to some black people. Why is it we always gotta give when a black when a, when a person act all black? We gotta say, oh, they black, they black. But someone like us, we don't we don't value each other. Like y'all don't value me. Y'all don't really want me. I'm just an object for y'all to use, supply, and throw away. And like I said, and also to a lot of y'all, and also I want to talk about another thing I want to talk about. I was watching um this channel called Text Talk, and it was this Native American guy, and he said something that was very interesting. He said there's a lot of, there, it, people always talk about how females get violated, and, that, and that's fine and dandy, but it's a lot of Native Americans getting raped and violated. At when they're underage to prove they're a man. And at the same time, they're not taken serious. And this issue's not small. See that right there? But you, but us as black males, we both find a compliment that we're big. Do you realize black males that act like a thug? You're 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 taking you're being you're being a scapegoat of taking place of all these female pedo, pedophiles. And don't you realize you're taking a place of all these female rapers? And do you realize you're taking a place of all these white men that try to be covert rapers that are being overlooked? Like these Harvey Weinstein world. Why is hard? Why do Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, they they are put all out there? And even when Michael Jackson, God rest his soul, we miss you, Michael Jackson. Why are those three black people scapegoated out there? But you got your Harvey Weinstein and white men and white women and Mary Kay Lorenzo. She, when she died, oh, you know everybody felt sorry. But never mind, she raped a twelve year old Filipino boy. Yeah, I'm going in there because I'm tired of myself when I come around people. You know, either people look at me as an object, people look at me as like I'm weak, people look at me like, oh, you're a man, I'm scared. See? Where, or I'm not a man, I'm, I'm an alien. Yes, I'm going all in, because there's so much I want to say. People like me that just ask for simple things, y'all try to make like there's no room for me. And I want to say, y'all big serious people, y'all days of controller shit, that's going to change. And that's y'all karma. Because, and also a lot of y'all blacks that prey on other blacks, and that, and that want to like put down other blacks, that's got to change too. Someone like me, like I said, when I put all my arts out there and all my care out there, that's not enough. No. All this stuff got to get better. I may come with a part three, but yeah. But yeah, but I'm tired of a lot of us guys of color. A lot of people say, oh, you look good, oh, you look good, but the, and we're sex objects, but there's no room for us. White people, all some of y'all white people, all day, every day, whether y'all look good, average, or worse, there's platforms for y'all, and it's fine, and Danny, but where's the balance? Where is the balance? Where's the where's room for everybody? And another thing, I used, when I used to go on, like, these internets to try to look to get into modeling, 
Everybody, first of all, everybody said I have a nice body. But then second of all, oh, you're too small. You're too thin. Nobody wants you, but I'm a sex object. And people want to ask, well, how, how old are you? Oh, you're too young. You're too old. What, what, you're black, but you're not black enough. You're not dark enough. You don't look soft enough. And then at the same time, you're measurements thick. See? Where is it from? This is why I do my videos the way I do and my plays and stuff the way I do. Because people always want to judge my looks. Either I'm not enough or too much. That's why I call it mediaism. Mediaism. Alright.